friends, welcome back to another Sticker Sunday video. Today I am super excited because this is Halloween week. Because it is Halloween week, we have decided to do a fun monthly collab between Robin from Oh Hello Robin and myself. We've been doing these monthly collabs for over a year now. We did have to have a brief pause while I was recovering from my surgery, but we are back and I'm so excited because not only are we planning for Halloween week, but we are actually using Robin's brand new Halloween stickers. So this is Robin's Halloween sticker collection. And um, I'm really excited because both Robin and I are using these stickers for our spread. So I'm really curious to see how our spreads come out, how they are the same, how they're different. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these stickers with you. I ripped the tab, but I actually have not gotten into these stickers yet because I wanted to show you guys the amazing packaging job that Robin does. So without further ado, let's get into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom the camera in so you guys can see this nice and up close. And these are the mailers that Robin always sends her stickers in. They are a really nice um, cardboard mailer. So all your stickers are safe. They don't get bent or destroyed. And then the sticker says, you've got happy mail. Oh, hello, Robin. Cute stickers for your planner and journal. So let's see what we have in here. Here is what's inside the mailer. So Robin always includes a really cute little um, sheet that explains about her sticker shop. So it's, oh, hello, Robin. Cute stickers for your planner and journal. Thank you for your purchase. I hope you enjoy your new stickers. If you have any questions regarding your order, please contact me through Etsy. Also, feel free to leave a review. If any of you guys purchase any of Robin's stickers, be sure to leave her a review on Etsy because reviews mean everything to small shops um, and it really, really helps support her. So here is the Etsy link if you wanna check out Robin's channel, but I will go ahead and um, link it down in the description as well. So if you wanna purchase any of these stickers or her upcoming holiday release, which I'm like counting down the days. I'm so excited. She has Christmas stickers coming out and yeah, I'm gonna need all of those for sure. Okay, so all of the stickers come in this really nice plastic um, sheet and this helps to protect the stickers from moisture. So again, they're super nice and protected when they arrive to you. Here are the stickers. Oh my goodness, I, I can't, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, this is actually my first time seeing them in person and I love them all. Okay, so let's go in depth each sheet at a time. Okay, so here is the first sticker sheet. This is her jack-o'-lantern pumpkins trick or treat sheet. And I love that she went for a jack-o'-lantern candy theme on this sheet. You guys know if you've watched our channel for any length of time, Abby and I, our favorite part of Halloween is definitely the candy, like by far. So we have some little candies here and a Halloween sticker. Then the second sheet is all ghost themed. So you have these really cute little ghosts and they say boo and there's some cute little hearts. You know we have to make some checklists out of those. Here's a Hocus Pocus inspired sheet. So it's, it's all a bunch of Hocus Pocus. And then you have some witch hats, the cute little cauldron with some special potions and brews. This might be one of my favorite sheets. This one is our little, I guess they're supposed to be like mummy balloons because they have little stitches across their mouths, but they are so precious. And then there are some little spiders. Here's a spider on a web. And then you have some mummies and this big blue Halloween sticker. That's super pretty. This one is really a creative sheet. I'm honestly not sure what these um, are supposed to be. They could be windows, like in a castle. They could be tombstones. They're really just cute, like rounded boxes that you can use to write in. Leave a comment down below. What do you think these stickers are? To me, they look like windows in like an old building, but you have one with some jack-o'-lanterns, you have one with a ghost, you have one with some witch hats, and then there are some little spiders here as well. And then this part of the collection is actually inspired by Nightmare Before Christmas. So we have like a Jack and Sally theme going on, which I love that Robin created this pattern herself. 
and she totally nailed it with the Sally vibes. It definitely gives off Jack and Sally vibes. So we have a Halloween sticker, we have the cute little pumpkins, and then we have the um, Sally box, the Jack box, and then these are some um, washi tapes, which are super cool too. Love those. And then here's the other sheet that kind of matches that one. So these two you can buy to go together. And then this one is really cool. This is a double wide box. I believe this is the first double wide box that Robin has done. So it's Sally on one side, Jack on the other. And then we've got some dots, perfect for checklists. Simply meant to be, which is Jack and Sally's kind of thing. And then we have some um, half boxes, which are super, super cool. And then a black circle and then the Sally circle. And that is it. So these are the stickers that we are using for this week's spread. Now I have to decide, am I going classic Halloween or am I going Jack and Sally Halloween? So I know Robin already did a spread with these two sheets on her channel. So I'll link that video specifically um, down below if you guys wanna check out what she did with these stickers. So I know she's gonna be using these sticker sheets. So, hmm. What shall I do? Okay, I'm gonna come up with a plan and then I'll be back in just a second and let's get to planning. Okay, so I've got my pages out for the week of October 25th through October 31st, which is Halloween. And I have pulled out some of Robin's sticker sheets. So these two I'm leaving on their sheets and I'm gonna pull them straight from here. Then I have pulled some of Robin's stickers here to use. So these are kind of the colors I'm going with. And then I also pulled some spooky Halloween stickers from the newest Happy Planner fall book. So this book, I'm honestly obsessed with. It's so cute, this seasonal fall. So I'm gonna use the cutie ghost and candy corn theme from this book. I also was inspired by Jack's um, washi down here. So I actually think I'm gonna use the Jack Skellington washi from Robin's kit, and I'm gonna lay that down first. If you're wondering about the little sticky notes on the page, I actually have laid those down so that I will remember when I have things this week. Um, that's been a new trick I've learned um, since my surgery to really help keep me on track with um, what I have going on. And when I'm planning, then I know where to put the stickers because it's right there, which is perfect. And I love that because Robin has her stickers sized for the Happy Planner, you can also use them in other planners as well. But because she has them, okay, why am I doing it that way? I could just do it this way. <laughs> Don't make it harder on yourself, Hope. Um, so because she has them sized for the Happy Planner, it's a lot, lot easier to use them. Okay. So I have um, Robin's washi down here on the bottom. And I love that Robin's stickers are removable. So if I decide later that I want to switch it out or add a different washi, I can totally do that, which I love. And then I think I might pull in some of these washi strips from the Happy Planner book as well. I don't know if this on top of this is too much stripe. I don't know, or maybe I should do it below it so that it covers up the rest of those words. Is that too much stripe going on? I don't know. I'm gonna try the ghosts on this side <laughs> and I'm gonna see which one I like better because they have this cute little ghosty washi as well. So, I can try that on the bottom. Which one do we like better? I honestly think I like the stripes. I know it's a lot going on, but this is a different color black than Robin's washi and that bothers me. So we're gonna remove the ghosties for now and then we're gonna use our little candy corn washi instead. I also apologize if in any point in this video I say candy cane instead of candy corn. I obviously mean candy corn but last year for Halloween, I was actually a candy cane, as in peppermint, uh, witch. I was a peppermint candy cane witch, and it was pretty fabulous. And if I were going anywhere for Halloween this year, I would also be a candy cane witch because I loved it, and I gave out little tiny 
miniature peppermint candy canes. It was pretty awesome. Anyway, so I just want to put it out there because I probably won't catch it if it slips. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna put a box here for me to write my to-dos for this week. Um, and I'm actually gonna use, so this book is our fall book from two years ago. So it was 2019's fall book. Um, and this is actually in the summer section, this vacation packing um, sticker. But I'm actually gonna remove the top part where it says vacation, because I am not on vacation. Um, and I just really wanna cut off our bicycle up here. So we're gonna cut that part off and use the orange full box because this orange actually fits our theme pretty well. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to do a box on top of that. This one is Robin's sticker. I love these little tombstone windows. So I'm going to put that down here to cover where it says notes. There we go. And then we'll put this one down here next to it. Should I give space between? No, I don't like space between. Okay. And we're gonna measure this up. Attempt to get it straight. No, no, that's not straight. Not straight, not straight. And unfortunately, the Happy Planner stickers are not removable, removable like Robin's stickers are. So it's way more stressful. There we go. Okay, cool, I love it. And then let's see, what do I wanna do down here? I need to do something down here because I normally put a quote here. So I think I might do trick or treat. This is the trick or treat sticker from Robin's sheet. I think I'm gonna use this little ghosty here to cover up the witch hat just cause I'm not doing a witch theme. So we're gonna do a ghosty instead. And then Robin has this, these really cute candies here on this sheet. So I'm gonna use these guys and decorate around our trick or treat. Cause that's so cute. Should I do a purple one or should I do another green one? Do that one. I pulled these little candy corns from a, um, a different Halloween book. So I'm gonna mix in some candy corns too for our trick or treat. Okay. I love it. It's so cute. Okay. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move over to this corner and do our big stickers over here so that I don't run out of room to put those. So I have this Double Double Toil and Trouble sticker. This is again from a um, Happy Planner book, but I don't like this saying up here because again, we're not going witch. So what I'm thinking I might do is put our box down here and then I'm gonna use Robin's Halloween sticker here with the little angry jack-o'-lantern. And we're just gonna cover up where that says the quote. Cause obviously we don't need that quote, but this is gonna be for Halloween. So unfortunately we're not doing anything really exciting for Halloween this year. Obviously <laughs> I can't physically do anything this year. Um, so we, we might like watch Halloween movies or something. I don't know. Um, we may just decorate for Christmas because to be honest, that's the mood I'm in is Christmas all the way. <laughs> so I have this sticker here, which says 31 on it for Halloween the 31st, obviously. Um, but I don't really like these stripes because they kind of go against all my other stripes. So I think I'm gonna cut around this sticker and make it a circle sticker. I also have this weird pet peeve with the Happy Planner um, books when they do these single one-off stickers when they don't have any stickers that match them, like there's no other ones in this um, striped pattern. Why do they do that? Like that drives me crazy. <laughs> Let me know if that also drives you crazy because it definitely does me. Do we want to put this in the middle of our candy corn box or do we want to put it, I think we're going to put it on this box with the ghosties. Um, actually, why did I pull it off of here? Hold on. We're gonna use this while it's down on here and then put our 31 on there. Actually, I think I'm gonna use another one of Robin's boxes. Guys, Robin's sticker boxes are like my new favorite thing. 
because they're removable. So I'm struggling right now to actually put down boxes like straight. So these stickers are the best. So this is the orange um, sheet that released with her fall stickers. And I think I'm gonna need to order another sheet of those because I'm obsessed and I love them. Okay, so I think we're gonna stagger it like this. Yeah, and then we're gonna put it over here. So the 31st obviously has to go on Sunday and then we'll put this box on Saturday. So that's perfect, I love it. It's so cute, I love, okay, I, you guys can't even see. I love this little candy corn sticker, it's so cute. I think we're gonna do these maybe up like this or in the center. Mm, no, I like them up higher. So we're gonna do like this. Attempt to put it down straight. And then we're gonna put this one staggered on top of it. There we go, perfect. So this is from her other fall sheet, this orange circle here. So I'm gonna use this little balloon over here. And then we're gonna put this one so it staggers on top of that. No, because that needs to go there, which actually I could do like this, because you know I like to cluster things. There we go, so that'll be for Tuesday, so I, st I still need something for Monday. Okay. Robin actually has this really cool circle sticker. This is one of the Jack themed stickers, and I think I might connect these bubbles by our balloon man. So let's put him like there. Is that good, or do we need a little bit closer? I think we might need to be a tiny bit closer. There we go. Cute, I like it, okay. It's almost a hidden Mickey, <laughs> close. On this Jack and Sally sheet, this is where this little circle one came from. I'm actually gonna pull these cute little hearts, even though we do also have the little dots, so I can use those in a different place. But I'm gonna put our little hearts down here as a checklist for Tuesday. There we go, so cute, I love it. All right, so then on um, Thursday, I'm gonna put one of these boxes here. And then I think I wanna do one of Robin's little windows here. And we'll stack them like this. And then, um, so, okay, Robin told me one thing, one thing that she was gonna do in her spread. And it sounded so cute and like such a good idea that I think I have to do a little mini version of it. So, sorry Robin, I'm totally stealing your idea, but she, <laughs> She is gonna do, okay, spoilers if you haven't seen Robin's video. I'm just ruining it all for you here. Um, but it is a little, like she's doing a full on haunted house and like I'm super excited about that. There's probably gonna be ghosts involved and it's gonna be adorable. So I'm gonna do a little tiny mini haunted house. Mainly because I just wanted to do a haunted house and yeah, so the question is, should I do it up here on this box or should I do it down here on the bottom? I kind of feel like I want to do it down here on the bottom. So I'm going to put our little haunted house down here in the corner. And then I'm going to use the little ghosties. These little guys from the newest seasonal fall book that I showed earlier. And this is going to be our little ghosty couple. So our little ghosty couple, so they're gonna be holding hands. I'm gonna cut the little excess black off of this ghost's hand, just so that um, they can hold hands. Cause in my mind, they're like a little cute ghost version of Carl and Ellie from Up. That's my story that I'm sticking to. So we're gonna have them holding hands. And then they're gonna go down here. Yeah, we're gonna put them down here. 
because this is their house. Okay, and then I found this squad ghouls, so I totally have to put this in. Because that's, they're, they're squad ghouls, like they're ghouls. This cute little ghost couple, I love them. I just whited out that line a little bit, just so it doesn't show quite so much. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, but now I need to move up our tombstone a little bit because they need room to be amazing. Okay, so let's figure out what else we need in this week. We think I might use this other piece of Robin's um, Jack washi here and kind of use it as a little flag. Oops a little flag for my to-do banner. I'm gonna use these cute little two pumpkins from Robin's Pages. Those are gonna be our little checklist dots. And then I also need one on Sunday. You know what, I think we're gonna do it on Saturday because we can use this as a checklist if I need to. I'm gonna add these little hearts that I found in the um, Happy Planner book. Perfection. If any of these stickers, um, these Happy Planner stickers that you see and you're curious which book it's from, let me know in the comment down below, like ask which one you're curious about and I can totally um, tell you which one it's from. Okay, and then I want some more of these little angry jack-o'-lanterns down here because we know I love pumpkins. Treat yourself on Halloween. I did also find this really cute Boo sticker. <laughs> that was the worst boo ever. Um, sticker, so I think I might add it somewhere. I think down here. Let's add a third layer to our washi. Because why not? No, no, that, no. Or maybe here. Connect all these dots over here. Because then there's also ghosts there, so that's cute. And then I had pulled one more like big, oops, big ghost out. So maybe we need to put him like here and make a little cluster. All right guys, so that is it for my Halloween week spread. I love it, it's so cute. I am definitely a sucker for like classic Halloween, like black, orange, candy corn, cutesy ghosts, no scary ghosts, and this is like, Perfect, I love it. I'm actually shocked at my lack of pumpkin usage. Um, although I suppose I have plenty of pumpkins because I have the little jack-o'-lanterns um, in here, but I, I honestly expected to go more pumpkin crazy. So I'm pretty proud of myself. So that is it for this spread this week. Be sure to go check out Robin's video um, because she's gonna be doing a spread that is very similar to this one, uses the same stickers as this one. And I also wanted to let you guys know if you want to purchase Robin's stickers, go check them out. Uh, again, I'll link the Etsy shop down in the description. Her stickers are incredible, guys, seriously. I love that I can pull them up, I can reposition them, I can change my mind a million times and they still look amazing. So definitely check them out. Check out her Halloween collection. And if you're also interested, her holiday collection will be coming out soon. And once that comes out, I'll link it in the description as well. So if you wanna check out her holiday collection, yeah. This is basically it for Halloween um, in my planner. Next week totally starts Christmas, so if you're into Christmas vibes and you're ready, then come back next Sunday for an awesome Christmas spread. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any future sticker videos from me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, and happy Halloween!